So I know this is a time where a lot of people aren't as focused or aren't as, you know, concentrated during this time. I know there's just a lot of crap going on and I completely understand that. But however, I don't believe that's a real excuse for you not to be doing what you're supposed to do. And what I mean by that is, I know like some people have got laid off their jobs. Some people aren't able to do the things that they're normally able to do. I know that a lot of people have taken a toll on this thing and uh, it's hurt them mentally, emotionally, fit, maybe even physically. At the end of the day, like I said, I still believe that this is this is still an opportunity for you to grow. No matter what situation is, you can control what you can control. So at the end of the day, I believe that you being able to be productive during this time is huge. There's just a few things that I really want to give to you guys. You guys probably may be struggling with this like seriously and you know, maybe been laying in bed all day and haven't been doing uh, anything <laughs> really. So but there's just a couple things where I just really want to uh, give you guys some tools, some tips and things that I really believe that can help you. So let's just get straight into it. The first thing I really want to talk about is studying your craft. Now, uh, you know, it can be anything. Artist, uh, full-time entrepreneur, designer, I don't know. Professional foot rubber, I don't know anything. I honestly believe that th there's no excuse for you not to be able to at least, you know, look up some books or, you know, watch some YouTube videos on studying really what your main thing is. And for some people that don't have or don't know the main thing that they want to do yet, Matter of fact, this is a great time for you to do it anyway and find something new that you can, you know, get in tune in. You know what I mean? Studying your craft, like for me, basketball is definitely my main craft. I, I've been doing this, but I've been doing a lot, 20 times more film study, um, you know, working on my moves and seeing myself as a basketball player and where like my game is and things like that. So uh, that's really one of the most powerful things I can really give you guys, really study and Pay attention to the details in your craft. So the next thing is write down your goals. Now, writing down your goals is actually extremely important. I still don't believe that throughout this whole COVID situation, you know, you're still able to conquer your goals and conquer whatever you said you was gonna do. So, I mean, you're alive. You got another day, another opportunity to do what you love to do and at least be in the house. Like I said, you can do what you can. Like you can still do your part and do, um, there shouldn't be no limits on you on what you're trying to accomplish, you know what I mean? Full list of goals that I still wanna get done. I don't care what situation it is. I don't care what's going on right now as in 2020. I, I don't care. Like, fact of the matter is I'm getting my goals done. Like, legit, I don't care who's in my way. Whatever's in my way is, getting, is gonna get stomped on. So I don't care. Make it personal, man. Like, write down your goals. Go after them, man. Don't let nothing limit you and your and your abilities, man. Create daily objectives. Yo, when I tell you this thing right here is extremely helpful, like, you know, where where's my thing? Where's my thing? Um, see, this right here is my daily objectives. So right here, I have pray, uh, relearn Forex and Signals, read a book, you know, write down video ideas, you know, read at least two scriptures a day. Um, just like, I literally have so many things where um, I just need to get done. I make it a necessity every day to at least aim for those things and at least try and check them off every single day as, as much as I can. Daily objectives are a, a crucial thing into making, a, you know, making your days a lot more organized and a lot easier for you, you know what I mean? So do it. Oh yeah, this next one exercise please there is no excuse for you not to be exercising i don't care if it's 10 push-ups 10 jumping jacks you have to be doing something you cannot sit around all day eating ice cream or watching netflix or just eating a full thing of popcorn like legit bro there is no way there is no way you should not be working out my little sister is doing squat workouts at least go out for a walk like go out for a walk, get some fresh air because you need vitamin D every day. You need vitamin D. So, um, you know, go for a walk, go for a run, do something like you just you cannot be stagnant in the house, please. It's very good for your body to get used to, you know, the sweat and, you know, you, you just getting a full workout in, man. Like your body needs to be pushed. So do it. 
go ahead and work out work out create a time limit from what you're consuming meaning limit your time on social media or anything like that so for me look at i'm gonna show you guys this right now all right so you see right here i got time limits on this stuff so you see you can go for a minute 15 minutes or you can take it off of the day sometimes you know i ain't gonna lie sometimes i'll say 15 minutes and then i'll go on the social media for a good 15 minutes and then you know when the app closes out and it's saying my time limits reached then it's reached so it's extremely important to really limit what you're doing limit what you're looking at for so long because i know people's hours for what <laughs> i know people's screen hours are crazy right now i know that for a fact already try and really focus on your, your on what you're trying to build eternally and um you know get your things that you want to pursue done like just just go out there and get it done for the day don't let it get to you you control social media you control what you can so like don't don't let it control you you know what it means this one right here is big learn a new skill or you know an asset like this is huge because for me i want to learn as much as i can especially while i'm young so that's just for me like right now i do videos i'm getting into photography i'm actually getting better at photography now um what else do I do? What else do I do? Oh, I'm an author, so I write books and everything. I'm working on my second one. Oh, by the way, this is my first book. Make sure you guys let me know if you want a copy. Shoot me a DM on Instagram, we'll get you an ASAP. So yeah, make sure you get yours. What else do I do? Oh, so I have a, a media side hustle. So I literally go out and record for uh, other people and make money off of there. I make promos, I do videos, documentaries, like whatever they want, I, I can do it for them. And also I do Forex, I definitely do Forex full time, so I make money on there. And there's just a whole bunch of other things that I do in my plate. So there is no way in the world, especially if you are young, you should be wanting to learn as much things as possible. And see, here's the thing right here. If I had a sponsor from Skillshare, I would tell y'all to go on Skillshare, but <laughs> I don't have that, so I can't tell you guys, but you guys can go do it anyway because we don't get free handouts over here. There's no way in the world you should not be able to learn a new asset, especially while you're young. I cannot stress that enough. If you are young, you wanna get into many things as possible. These are what my mentors and my um, my pops, like everybody that I look up to, this is what they teach me all the time. So you wanna get into as many things as possible, mess up, learn, perfect it, you know what I mean? Do as, do as much as you can do. This next one is making a plan for your day. And now it's basically the same thing as the daily objectives, but it's kind of not. Like you wanna ha have a more structured thing. I always make sure to like throw clothes on cause I know if I'm in my like my shorts and t-shirt, I know I'm not gonna get no work done. I know that for a fact. For me, I have to put on some clothes. I gotta feel like I'm going out in a sense and then you know i'll have that meaning that meaning like oh okay i yeah i can get some work done you know what i mean schedule your time schedule your day you know take some time to really think of what you're trying to accomplish today like what am i going to get done today what's going to be the challenge for me you know so push yourself i think this one right here is um also a, a key is creating a workspace now for me as you can tell right here i'm basically in my room but the way how I set up my room, this is my work desk. So I got my TV right here. I got another TV up here. Got my laptop. Then I got a computer. Then I got my PS4. And then I got <laughs> I got a whole bunch of crap here. So this is really my workspace. And, you know, it's pretty organized. And this is where I just get stuff done, man. Whenever I want to finish writing my book or, you know, whenever I want to get on the game with my guys or sometimes I just want to sit down and pray and just go like this or... You know, just or just sometimes just think and really see my thoughts. I'll come right here to my desk and get a lot of stuff done. This right, this desk right here, this is my baby, man. Like we do a lot of hard work on this desk, bro. I really recommend you guys make a workspace because if you you can't just sit in your bed the whole time on your laptop. As much as lovely as it seems and sounds, you're not gonna get the much work done, man. You know that too. You're not gonna get much work done. You're going from there, create something. As a, it can be a table with just, you know, your notebook and a laptop. It can be anything. As long as you are being locked in and you feel that you don't have no distractions, boom, you're good. So these things right here are the main things that I do to keep myself productive. These are just things that I always do regardless if it was quarantine or not. I'm doing this anyways. Like I'm staying organized. 
but now since we have more time on our hands is that's when it's like the difference maker you know what i mean i hope you guys were able to use this and i hope you guys felt like this was um extremely uh helpful for you if you guys like this video like comment and subscribe and don't forget to turn on the post notifications because if you haven't then you're honestly really tweaking it i don't know what you're doing but hey i'm gonna holla at y'all in the next video kid Kyrie man i'm out bruh peace hey stay safe i love you guys stay safe